It's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm in Hollywood, California, looking for a parking spot. Why, you may ask, am I in Hollywood? It's an interesting story about how random life can be when you just let life be random. So a couple days ago, I got together with Keith from Attic Skateboards to shoot the shit and talk for a bit. And, oh, the lot's full. Hmm. All right. Maybe I should focus on getting a parking spot. Keith, Attic Skateboards. So anyway, Keith at Attic Skateboards and I went skateboarding and hung out a couple days ago. He's the one who sent me the scooter shooter. And so we were hanging out and after we were done skating, he was like, you want to go meet my friend Pat? And I'm like, yeah, man, I'm down to meet Pat. He's like, well, Pat's a big fan of your illusion channel. And this is my first encounter with Pat. It had been about a month ago. I had been driving the streets of Santa Monica when all of a sudden I heard someone go, there are no gay skateboarders. And I was like, wow, dude, because me and Sage Vaughn talk in depthly about how there's no gay surfers and there's got to be a gay surfer in the Sage Vaughn interview. So all of a sudden I'm stuck in traffic in Santa Monica and this dude just blurts out of his car, there are no gay surfers. And I was like, and it's pretty deep in the interview. So I knew this guy was an illusion fan. Well, all of a sudden I get to meet this guy like a month later. And uh, so we meet and we uh, hit it off. Thank you. Thank you. And we hit it off and blah, blah, blah. But all of a sudden today, I'm at the uh, Save Point Pizza Rally and who shows up but Pat. And now Pat, Pat's a full high frequency dude all the way, man. He's my kind of people. I dig Pat. And so anyway, Pat's like, here, bro, I have two tickets to the Afghan Wigs show at the uh, Henry Fonda Theater. And I was like, he's like, you want them? And I'm like, sure. Now you have to understand, I have no idea who the Afghan wigs are. I think they had some hit like 10 years ago or something. But I went and checked them out online and they look like they rock. So here I am in Hollywood, completely in the now, going to see a band I had no concept of when I woke up this morning. Had no concept I'd be in Hollywood tonight. I went to work all day, went to the Point Doom pizza protest, ran into Pat. Pat gave me two tickets. And that is how the dream works if you just allow yourself to go from dot to dot to dot to dot. And instead of trying to figure out what the picture is you're creating by going from dot to dot to dot, you just allow yourself to go from dot to dot to dot and enjoy it. So uh, I'll be reporting after the show or during the show. I don't know. We'll see. He. All right, after the show review. The best part about this was I had zero expectations. I had no idea what I was getting into. I'd actually heard a song by these guys probably 15 years ago when I was living in Milford, Pennsylvania. There used to be this really cool chain of locally owned record stores called Joe Nardone's Gallery of Sounds. I hope they're still up and running, but I remember listening to a tune of theirs in the, uh, in the listening booth, man. And here we are, right? So the opening guy was this uh, Van Hunt, this solo guitar playing black guy who was playing pop tunes, but like sold out, right? Like soul singer, gospel style. And at first, man, I was like, kind of like a traffic wreck. I didn't really get it. I wasn't ready for it. And then I just sat and started listening to it. And it re actually it reminded me a lot of, it had a little boognish in it, man. It reminded me of some ween tunes and I kind of got into it and then the frequency hit and it was pretty bitchin' soulful, 
Van Hunt, man, he had his thing going, man, and doing the solo guitar soul music, which was pretty cool. And then uh, the crowd was interesting, man. Not your, I don't know, it was just a different crowd. And uh, so the Afghan wigs come on and it, they're like a power chord anthem rock band, I guess I would describe them first off. So, you know, they're rock and they got like three guitar players and they're, you know, a wall of guitar sounds coming at me and singing and the whole thing. And I'm, you know, I'm cool with it, man. I love rock and roll, so I'm down. And uh, I was kind of like, okay, they're just your t typical like power rock band. And, all, and I was like thinking in my head, I was like, I wonder if they do anything dangerous, man, like dangerous musically. And uh, I started to almost sort of critique the show and then I decided to just go and like let it go, man. Just like be entertained by my like being in the now and having the gift of these tickets given to me today. And I started to just listen to the music for the sake of listening to it. And something magical happened. They had some danger in them. The uh, lead singer put down his guitar and uh, grabbed the microphone and the whole frequency changed. He just started singing and as he went into the crowd, which was pretty cool, singing this pretty bitchin' song about getting crushed. Sounded like by a hand grenade, but it was a really good song. And then the second song, man, he brought back this Van Hunt guy and they did this like soul ballad, which pretty much blew my mind, which was what I needed to hear tonight. It was beautiful, it was daring, and it, it had the moment, man. There's a moment where it all disappears, man, and it's just pure music, dude. And there it was. And then they came back and did their power rock, and it the vibe changed because now I knew they had something else going on deep with inside of me man they got soul dude it was pretty cool they had like two backup singers man and there was a guy playing cello always like kind of some diversity in the whole thing but what was really cool was just being a voyeur in somebody else's spaceship like these guys have sold out tonight and the next night so they have a a following so I just began to like check out how stoked people were to be checking these guys out and then I got stoked because they were stoked and everybody was stoked and there was a spaceship of stoked going on tonight and how can you deny that and I guess it goes it just goes back to my whole theory is you got to have open ears you got to allow yourself to experience all sorts of different musical environments and all sorts of different stuff because you just never know when you're going to get the little nug. And I got at least four magic nugs in this show tonight where all the bullshit of the world just disappeared and it was music and it was good. And Pat, thank you. For Radical Night in Hollywood at the Afghan Wigs with Van Hunt opening at the uh, Fonda Theater. And that's it for me. I've had a long day. Started this morning working at 7 o'clock. Went and protested to save my slice of pizza. And I uh, ended up here in Hollywood checking out the Afghan Wigs. Another day in the dream. Love it when you don't know what's going to happen. Peace. Final note on the night. Just sailed through a DUI checkpoint. One of the beautiful things about being sober. The cops can't fuck with the illusion. Uh-uh. They don't exist in my dream. This isn't the droid they're looking for. No, man. Saw some uh, familiar looking kids' cars walking the lawn. People got to wise up about the drinking and driving. It's just not worth it. Anyway, final note. Peace.